The year is 1896. The city of Miami that we know, it doesn't yet exist. But it started with the dream of building a hotel. Stay with me, I'm gonna tell this whole tale about how folks swelled to this region. Seeking opportunity was the reason. 12 of them were brazen black men. No, not freemen, but they were still believing, despite the fact that the scales of liberty and justice was a bit uneven. But it was right here that they stood without an ounce of treason, committed to seeing the task through to completion. The first hotel goes up, and it is a hit with the locals. There's talks of even taking this thing global. Then in comes a proposal to build a railroad on the coastal, but they don't have enough workers. They need more at their disposal. Did you know, before LinkedIn, to get LinkedIn, word had to spread by vocal or postal. And after a while, it did. Then in comes 162 black men in total. This, this was a multicultural construction space, industrialism on the rise. This moment wasn't about race. For once in history, they were all just the guys. Now, it was under this guise that the powers that be went to the committee with an idea to incorporate this land into a city. All they needed was 300 votes. In theory, they had the folks. It's just not all were allowed or registered to vote. Now, surely there was much confrontation about which citizens should be allowed registration. But as I said, this moment was about unity. This was an amalgamation. There comes a time where one choice could change an entire nation. And after much deliberation, 162 black men cast their ballots in unification. It is upon these men that Miami found its foundations. Now the men that are behind me, they represent the 162. They represent me, they represent you. I wish this story had a happier ending, but history demands the truth. These men were given the right, then restricted the right to have a say in the voting booth. From the very beginning, the truth was decoded. Imagine needing your vote and your labor to build a railroad only to later get railroaded. It'd be easy for me to stand here in malice, but I am challenged to find hope and still see the significance in a single vote because there was once a time where this right could be given and then revoked, unprovoked. Unity, that is the spirit that built this city and it must be in everything that we do. And must we never forget that Miami only exists due to the sacrifices of the 162. Yes, what you heard is 100% true. Without the votes of 162 black men, the city of Miami could not have been incorporated on the 28th day of July in 1896. We stand here tonight on the shoulders of those men to honor them and represent their legacy. Once the city of Miami was officially incorporated, the names of those 162 black men were removed from the voting roll, just as the real work began to establish representation and therefore the new city's laws and statutes, many of which would restrict the lives of the very men who were needed to create Miami. The incorporation served as both the beginning and the end of black participation in the political process for the next 60 years. This is a reminder that black history is Florida's history and reinforces the importance of black history being taught within the most advanced classrooms in Florida's high schools against the backdrop of scores of books by African-American authors being banned in elementary middle and high schools throughout our state, combined with the hideous reimagining by those who would have you believe that the cruel and dehumanizing practice of slavery was somehow beneficial, or have you think that something other than the nefarious practice of slavery was the root cause of the most divisive war in our nation's history? No, history cannot be whitewashed or have comfortable parts edited out. Voices cannot be silenced. 
And just like the votes cast by the 162 black men in 1896, your vote matters. Each of you, all of you, and all of us. The Miami Heat would like to thank the Miami Heat players, coaches, and training staff for joining together with Heat staff members, Heat season ticket members, and South Florida community members led by Gail Nelson, president of Big Brothers Big Sisters Miami, to stand, honor, and represent the original Miami 162. Tonight's activities should serve as a reminder of the importance of voting in all elections. Decisions that impact your life are made as a result of elections, both locally and nationally. To make sure you're registered to vote, please visit heat.com vote to check your voter registration status.